Right, so guys, welcome back to the video. In the last video, or no, the video before, we changed the shocks here. We changed them to these big ones, which are off overkill. Problem is with these shocks, they give it such a high centre of gravity, it just ends up tipping over. So as you see, I've got the old shocks put back. But these shocks were oil filled, so what we've done, or what I've done, I've gone and purchased some, um, obviously some, what you call it, rubber seals. So these are now filled with oil shocks. So look, you can, don't worry about that sound, that isn't the shocks. That is the tyres, but now it's, it has that nice slow rebound. So yeah, I thought I'd get you back on quickly just to show a video. I've got halfway there, I've now took the spaces off. I did do an Instagram thing saying if I should leave these on or off. Put in the comments if what you think is better. Obviously it's a pain in the backside when you need to get the wheels off as quick as possible because, you know, there's a lot of screws there. But now we've got them off, so we're going to take the wheels off, change these quickly. Obviously, yeah. I don't know, I think I don't think it's a. I think this is lightweighted shock oil anyway. If we can see in there, there's a little bit left in there, so that'd be for another shock. Let's see if I can put this back on. There we go. But no, that's how we're doing it. We're gonna fill these shocks up with oil. These old ones because they're just they give it such a lower centre of gravity. It's so high. If you uh, see my TikToks, guys, don't know if you do, it, it is the only RC Prime, so if you're on TikTok, have a look. We took it up a hill, tip, it had such a high centre of gravity, it just tipped. I took this truck there not long ago, and it didn't tip in that area, so I know it is the high centre of gravity there, so at least we know. Right, so... Just going to pin the top of this shock off because I haven't filled this one up with oil yet. You see the little rubber seals there, guys, on them. I don't know if I can get it focused or not. Can't get focused, guys, but there is a rubber seal on there. So, let's now put it somewhere clean. We don't want to get it muddy. bit more obviously you don't want to fill it all the way to the top guys because then the shock will not be able to move so I think that is plenty there we can always top it back up but yeah if you put too much in there guys the shocks will just not move because there's so much oil blocking the, uh, the pressure around there because you need some air to get around in there but you don't want lots of air You just want to work it in there. Just make sure with this, we push down and up. So here we are guys, where's the other shock? So this is the standard shock when you push it down. That is instant rebound see and then you do it with these push it in it's slow I think I'm gonna have to drain a little bit of oil out of this it's just a little bit too much oh I hit my head as well not much just a little bit too much because shocks are fairly hard to push which means it's just a little bit too much so I'm not gonna waste any guys I'm gonna pour it straight back like that wasted a little on the edge there but that's perfectly fine oh, that is going to go on there we are make sure that's nice and tight so it gets the seal guys 
Just tighten the other one up a little bit. That's a lot better, that is. It's returning absolutely perfect. And that's just, the oil field shocks is good, so when you hit a bump, like demonstrating here, you hit a rock like that, it isn't instantly going to return, it's going to slowly, like, so when you're going down like an incline, it slowly returns back, which is nice. And that's what we want. Uh, right, now I'm going to need to get, I can't be bothered to get the socket set out, so we'll just get the, these come with the WL toys, these ones, this, they're not even bad. They they basically fit every other RC car, so. Oh. This one may not do these. I may have to go and whip it a socket one out. Oh. Obviously, on the normal ones, like the fast ones, you don't do the wheel nuts up very tight. But the crawler, I like to do the tyres up fairly tight. Now it would probably undo it, but as we're here, oh, we may as well undo it. Right, so guys, it was really a long video here to edit, so basically what we did, or what I did, I just time-lapse a lot of this video into a small bit, so yeah, hope you enjoy. Guess what guys, I'm going to have to edit this video down but without the body, got to give it a test in the beautiful rain over there. Let's see if it works. Look at that. The suspension is working at the rear here though. You see the shocks are working well. So there we are guys. <laughs> there is a <laughs> oil, a beautiful oil filled shock upgrade. You would believe I've done that, but yeah, please uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.